everyone, it's 2020. I wanted to bring you a book series that I've read before 2020 started, and um, that is one of my resolutions. want to read a whole lot more, but I'm bringing you the after series. And I am going to pretty much do a whole series review instead of just one book, one book, and just bring you the entire story, a review for the entire story. Now, uh, Tessa, uh, is 19 year old, goes to college and ends up with uh, Hart and Scott. And they had obviously had like a rocky road relationship. It started as like pretty much a lie on his part. But to me, it kind of seemed like he did like her and he was just trying to be a tough guy because that's just how he always is. And it started off with a bet where he bet with all his like he was pretty much like a bad boy in a bad boy group but at the same time he had uh, good grades he has um, very like prefer reading over any other type of entertainment and in a lot of, and but that kind of gets muffled down over what everyone expects him to be because once again like judging a book by its cover and then we got Tessa here who is um, goody two shoes, wears like clothing from head to toe, never shows any skin, doesn't have tats, never did anything wild ever in her life, but you know, she's only 19. You, you can't really expect that, can ya? And she uh, was raised by a single mom, so this is her first like away from home experience where she's like tipping her toes, and once again, you can't really judge a book by its cover because she does have like a wild streak to her and their relationship actually started pretty much on a bet which is I wouldn't say a lie on Harden's part because I think deep down he really did want to be with her and he really did like her but he just won't let himself because he, like not just everyone else but he thinks of himself with this other way and but he and Har uh, Tessa actually has a lot more in common then um, what their outer appearance like really um, portrays to you to think. They're both into reading. Um, Tessa and him are both in the English literature, and they ended up um, really f like really falling in love really super fast. But at the same time, it's not just a straight and narrow love story. There's rocket like there's bumpy roads and the like craziness um there's a and since they are both into literature pretty much i want to say in the second book is where it gets a little crazy in this book there she thinks they're living ah not that book in the first book they're she's they're reading happy live after she ends up giving him his her virginity and they she thinks they're just living a what she calls a Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy relationship and it not until the end of this book and pretty much a, like in the beginning of this book where she finds out the truth about the butt and she ends up going back home and she ends up staying home and that's when the rocket road kind of starts and then the Harden starts drinking and Harden's English so they're both, she's 18, he's 19, but he's from England, so pretty much, I guess, he's, like, already used to just drinking and not waiting until you're 21. And between the drinking and the way that they all speak, it kind of, I forget that they're just in college, and they seem rather older than they actually are. I kind of forget they're only 18 and 19, 20. And... The, uh, it kind of, they end up moving in together, but she ends up moving out and not really having a real place to live because she can't move in with her friend Stephanie. Well, she actually did because her friend Stephanie actually um, pretended like she knew about the bet, but she pretends that they're still friends and doesn't uh, really, like, tells her half of that story and not in at first but um so she thinks that they're still friends 
and but they in uh so she moves in back into her old dorm room with her old roommate Stephanie and then moves um pretty much into her car and then she moves in with her uh boss pretty much and then moves to Seattle but before all that she um finds out that what makes her move to Seattle was her friend Stephanie ends up not being her real friend at all because um, she drugs her at a party and um, tries to get this guy to like pretend like he's raping her and takes pictures to show Hardin and it ends up put to Molly who was like pretty much her enemy Tess's enemy since the beginning ends up being like hey, we can't do this, and she's the one who actually ends up getting hardened because at the end of the day, even though that they're enemies, she know, knew right from wrong, like, you cannot do this to someone, you can't drug them and pretend like you're raping them, and she goes and gets hardened, and then hardened, um, or she goes and gets Zed, which is um, pretty much uh, like a love triangle between hardened Tessa, and Zed, and Te Zed breaks down the door and moot, uh, and Tess is pretty strung out already, like, the drugs are already affecting her, so he has to carry her to his, his truck, and then he drives her all the way back to his mom's her mom's house. And she stays at her mom's house for a few days, and then Harden comes back, and this is when him, Tess and Harden kind of separates for the first time, pretty much. And she's like, I gotta be independent, and she moves to Seattle with her boss, ends up living with her boss. But they pretty much um, went back and forth every weekend, so they didn't really have that much time apart. And then she moves to New York with um, Harden's brother, which is also her best friend. And then, once again, this is... And then they kind of did a real separation and then did their personal growth separately. But they ended up... Um, reconnecting when he went back to New York and ended up sleeping together again and then she finds out that he was reading or uh, writing a book about their relationship and she totally freaks out and then in the book it says and like so many years after that the last book drives me insane like so many years where no that's not it this is and honestly this is the smallest book out of the whole series because pretty much what she says is she wrote like the whole story and she pretty much had everything else to say and she just wanted to finish it up but um and then so many years after that and then they reconnect and then they ended up uh becoming completely together and ended up moving together when he moved back to New York and there wasn't really a clear like a clear uh, statement where if they got married or not but I guess that's all up to personal and like what you would think because he can makes it very clear that he wants her to marry him like he even threatens to stop sleeping with her if he doesn't if she doesn't agree to marry him but there was never really a clear cut like their wedding which is wedding day which it was pretty disappointing because that would have been a really cool scene in the book but it was pretty much like a few years after that, they ended up uh, getting miscarriage. And then a few years after that, they had two kids and pretty much just living happily ever after. And pretty much at that point, they were like parent ages, like how, like pretty much in their 40s at that point. Which is when they do this movie, that is going to be pretty interesting to watch. And... That is my review. Pretty much I try to stick with uh, what happened in each style of the book. Or each scene from each book. But I pretty much did a whole book series review. And I hope you like this uh, video. And I highly recommend this book series. This is not the typical love story book series this is pretty much like a college version of Fifty Shades of Grey which 
and if you read Fifty Shades of Grey, you kind of should know what I'm uh, leaning towards. Because if, if you read it, you know that it's not about all the abuse and all that. It's an action. Like, there, this is a real, like, love story. And they, and it doesn't shy away from the problems that they have. And it, this one definitely is the most, like, struggled one. Where they, these two pretty much, is where they face all of their demons. And then come together stronger than ever. And this makes, these two books in particular, makes this whole series a true honorable like love story where it's just not all rainbows and butterflies they have to seriously like work through their shit and it is real it is raw and it is uh, definitely plain uh sorry I'm getting my voice is getting gone but it is a definitely plain turner and I highly recommend this series I know it looks pretty thick but trust and believe you will get through this in a matter of weeks it's a series page turner and i highly recommend after series and that's all i had to for today bye bye see you next time get to reading